Greetings Captain Skonsiep here, hope you are doing well. Today we are having a review of the latest Russian MPK Project 11451 Subchaser from the Russians. It came into the latest patch and it sits at battle rating 4.7 and we can discuss why that in a little while. But it's fast and that's probably the main point. 120 kilometers an hour plus in realistic battle when it's fully spaded. The 76mm gun you see firing here is great because also it can shoot over the bow at full speed so it's not like the boat raises out of the water and you can't shoot over the bow straight ahead so for that it's good minus is you only have one of them and number two you only have 152 rounds so you have to be a bit sparingly now you do get vt shells and for most parts that is great but in this case for this sub chaser here maybe i should have had normal hc round as well to maybe do slightly better penetration uh, on that ship but often the vt rounds are really useful like for example i need to dispatch of this t5 and uh, explosive shells just you know are the best for that so in this particular example here i end up getting closer to the ship and then i use the torpedoes that you have on board so you get two lots of four torpedoes four on each side a total and they're okay they're not the most explosive that you can get but they're fine against targets like for example this and maybe a destroyer or two but that's about it they will go eight kilometers and 76 kilometers an hour but the angle can sometimes takes a bit of getting used to as you can see here i hit the target and it takes care of it so you know happy days but the battle rating in 4.7 is apart from the speed hard to justify because of the firepower you know the likes of the Frisia and uh, other ships like that that is at 4.7 i don't feel is quite as strong Frisia ultimately gets you know three guns rather than just the one but the speed is what this sets apart from from anything else you definitely get to the capture point first no doubt about it and as you can see here, I'm all the way down into the enemy's spawn points. Not because I particularly want to, just because the ship is so damn fast that I kind of got there by, by default. So the secondary, 30 millimeter gun, you'll find it on the 206 and so on. Very powerful, takes care beautifully of any AA and then you get the radar as well. So it's a modern ship and it's good fun. I have really enjoyed using it and you will too when, when you get it. It's just a shame that its worst enemies are really, apart from the frigates, are destroyers and cruisers, because they can't really match that like, like any other uh, PT boat uh, out there. And you kind of wish to, in a way, that Coastal now and then would have an option to just play by themselves, so you could get more use of the frigates and, and the boats and stuff. Maybe that's a subject for a different video altogether. Enough rambling on. I hope you enjoyed this short video and review of the ship. As I said, if you can get it, do it, because you will enjoy it, uh, but it's not without its faults as well. That's all for now. See you in the next one. Bye for now.